Hello again. Now, I don't have a lot of time because I put in a lot of content from the actual meetings today, but I'll bet you're wondering why there wasn't a video on about, uh, Saturday or so. That is because there have actually been two meetings since then. One of them was on Tuesday, the other one was on Saturday. The one on Saturday was, I think, about six or seven hours. I don't know the exact number right now, sorry. We did that because we had fallen behind on our training schedule and we had to put in a lot more on Saturday. So that's why that meeting was so long and we had two meetings this week. Now, the one on Tuesday, I didn't get any footage of. I completely forget why. Most of the time, I think it was because I was kind of boring and just goofing off, which I really shouldn't have done, but, you know, I did it because I'm a teenager and we're all lazy. Anyways, on Tuesday, there were only two stations. One of them was CAD, which is actually something I should have gotten footage of because some of the kids were doing some really cool CAD, even though I have no idea how to do CAD. For those of you who don't know what CAD is, CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. It's like when you draw 3D models and stuff on a computer. That's what that is. And the second rotation was... And I honestly completely forgot what the second station was. I don't know why I had it in my head earlier, but I forgot it now. If I remember, I'll put some kind of annotation or something in the video, but sorry about that. Anyways, and then the Saturday meeting is where all the fun stuff happened, and I actually recorded that. Now, uh, the first half of the meeting was uh, most of the kids who showed up are now specialized, or, like, they chose a subgroup of the team that they want to be in. And programming has a total of seven kids in it now, including me, Chris, Kyle, and John Baker. Uh, those... Last three or were not there the at that time for various reasons. Chris was sick, Kyle and John are in March, and they were their national competition over the weekend. Chris showed up later, however, to participate in their paper airplane making contest, which I'll talk about more later. Uh, after we got them specialized in their subgroups that they wanted to be in, then we put them to business team groups so that, like, we have to do stuff financially on the team and stuff and, you know, get involved in community and stuff like that. We like to do that kind of stuff. It makes us look better and, it, you know, it helps out people. It works out for everyone for, very well. That stuff was kind of boring, though, so I didn't get any footage of that. But the fun stuff happened during the second part of the meeting. Now, the first really interesting thing we did was a paper airplane making contest, which we had no idea about until Mr. Christensen announced it after we had all had lunch and stuff. And here's uh, most of the footage of that. There are four objectives to this game. The four objectives is to be consi have consistency, get your distance traveled, it's a game about speed. It, 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 we want to get this done by 1 o'clock. And there's a, a, a bonus for diversity in your team. Diversity will not be any of the protected diversities, however. So you need to figure out what that is. It's not about religion, race, or anything like that. I know what it means. You guys don't. I do. Maybe you'll figure it out. Okay? I think I do. That's the, that is the objective, okay? You're going to get 10 minutes to design your paper airplane and provide it to the competition table. Everybody has to turn in their design by 1245. Anything that's late, sorry, don't compete. That's part of the speed challenge. Every team that submits their, their plane or competition will execute a one minute trial with up to five attempts to be scored per the criteria above. Once we are done, there'll be a scoring review to see how everybody does. The challenge is in this. I only set the rules once. You guys gotta figure it out from here. Team size, there's a diversity bonus. Think about that when you choose your team. If you choose not to participate, that's okay. Help me in setting up the game and the rules. So, what people need to do at 12.35 is come up to me, identify their team name, tell me how many students they have in their team, and receive their piece of paper for their airplane. Okay. Use your fingernail to crease it off. <laughs> what are these videos online? YouTube. You yep. Pick up first up your CD team for the OTU. I don't know why I just did that, but. Me neither. It's good. <laughs> Put that on the front. Go like that so they can attack the other airplanes. Nom, nom, nom. Anything at all. What about the one that Smiley likes to make? Like the. Circular the circle? Ones? Yeah. They're not that good. That circular one does. If you know how to throw it, it is. Yeah. I don't. The consistency on it, we're not. This is different design. That's what we're doing. Oh. And then so we're going to the do one? the final design. The ones are right. yes, I'll go get so. it. We just don't know. It's 
see if this actually flies. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, still right. It's decent if you put force behind it. height too, it'll be All right, here. Brian, 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 let's see it. It's so narrow. Oh. Woo! I don't want to do it. That was so creepy. That's what I was going for. I'm not good, I'll but try I'll it. try it. One minute to make your five attempts. If you only get four attempts in, you only get four attempts right, in. You want to run down there and so we need a stopwatch. Who's got the stopwatch? Okay. It's so dark. You'll go retrieve your plane, your airplane after they measure the distance. So that's part of your team to go get go get the airplane and bring it back. Okay. Are you guys ready? Timer wise. Where it stops. Right, the farthest point of the plane. Yeah, yeah. The farthest point of the plane. We should have cut some of these five. Up to five in that minute. Are the timers ready? Ready. Are the measurers ready? Wait, Mr. Christensen. Who's measuring? Shut up. Okay. One minute only. You say when one minute stops. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Where do I start? Just right here. Behind the carpet. You're gonna cut. You gotta come back behind this line every time. Okay, that's fine. You throw from behind the line. All right. Ready. One, ready. two, three, go. We all knew that um, the diversity bonus was between grade levels, and uh, knowing that, we made a group called the Juniors, where we took all the junior kids and we made our airplane airplane then. The results of the competition ended up being we would have won, only the bonus given to the one team that had uh, uh, two sophomores and a freshman on it, they won by like three points. And we could have won if we just asked a freshman to be on our team or a sophomore or whatever. Uh, overall, our score was actually higher than theirs before that. So we should have done it. We didn't. It was still a lot of fun anyways. Now after that, you remember the design contest we had the kids do for the 2016 Aim High? I'm not going to put another link in the video. You should you should know about it by now. If you don't, go back to my other videos. You can check it out. Anyways, we had them design robots for that game. And today, uh, they made models of those robots off of the designs they had.
And after that, the group's presenting their robots to people and what they did and how they did it, essentially. And Mr. Rivera asked them some questions, but that's essentially what's going to happen, and eventually we're going to have them play the game with their modeled robots. We want to talk... week too and I hope you keep watching. Bye.